All right, Pisces. Can y'all believe? I knew it was going to happen. The camera shut off during our reading. Can y'all believe this shit? I can't believe it. I knew it. I knew it. I was like, it's going, it's a full moon coming and a camera might shut off. Let me check the camera. I got up, checked the camera. It was running, running, da, 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 da. And then it just stopped. I am so livid right now. So I have no room on the table, but the, the reading was absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Where can I start? All right. Pisces. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. All right, so the best card that came out, and I was trying to show you guys, was confirming the nine of pentacles. And you came up with the king of pentacles and the queen of, queen of pentacles and the shut off communication. All three of these came out the deck. And I was telling you what's special about these, these uh, cards and the people is to look at the energy. Look at, look at the energy. Look at the expression on these people's faces. They are shut out. They shutting out from the world. They shut off communication, right? But this is a good thing because they're in meditation and in solitude with themselves. So your partner might be spiritually trying to reconnect with you, but the communication is blocked. And this is why I kept saying I saw a two, two, two. So you might be connecting with the Pisces Cancer Scorpio who is trying to reconnect. Now, mind you, Pisces, if it's a male or female, it was hidden secrets with a Pisces or Cancer. It will be some hidden deceptions, but those hidden secrets we will be revealed on the full moon. All right. So I start to shuffle so on and so forth. I went on and went on. You had the uh, apology card from this night. Someone wants to come in and offer an apology. That's uh, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? Hmm. And spirit is saying to listen to your intuition. Allow the universe to guide you. To guide you in the right direction. <sighs> I'm so livid here. So we also have the Ten of Pentacles in the future. And we had the Ten of Pentacles in the past. Meaning money was lost, but now we are going to regain our money in 2020. All right? We also had another woman juggling, perhaps a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. So your partner might have perhaps had a third party and wanting to um, drop the third party. Or their partner still might be thinking about this third party. And someone will be unsuccessful, okay? Because someone will be caught with, the moon, with this moon card. And the final message was the uh, Ace of... Uh, cups this was the absolute best message in the deck here and this is new love coming towards us so um we do have new love at the end of this reading someone is coming forward with an apology someone wants to reconnect and um someone wants to be with us but it was some hidden deception okay so i see here taurus capricorn virgo Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a Libra. All right. So my last message for everyone now. Sorry, Pisces, about this. This reading was so beautiful, but I can't re-record it. Is to uh, go and go within. Okay. Even if it is to keep the communication closed off until after the full moon, and think about what it is that you want. Do you want to be with someone who deceived you and reconnect with your, your love? Or do you want to remain single and prosper? Or do you want to prosper together? Okay, because I do see new love. It might be another new Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Libra, or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But it is another woman or another man. It is a third party here. And this, this person here is not letting go. So someone has a hold on your partner. Um, Pisces, and uh, this is why you got this karmic debt that is going to be a continuing cycle. All right, and you also have the Emperor. So, if it is an Aries, Leo, Sag, just leave me some comments and let me know. But it is some Pete, is a lot of people here, though. I'll tell you that. 
All right. So this is your reading, Pisces, and Namaste.